Hey everybody, it's all on Six, and uh, today we are playing Pokemon Ash's Quest. Here with me is uh, that, that Pokemon, Pokemon nerd. nerd. Yeah, dual intro for the same person. And in this episode, I think we'll be taking on the Cerulean City Gym. Wait, did you? Was there something about we have to watch a show? Yeah, um, I think we did it though. We talked to everybody and everything. Um, hmm. You have to go find, who was it? Daisy, I think? But they see that I'll be in the water. Wait, how do we um, get, are we meant to go in the water? I don't think we can. Maybe he's made it to this second he can. Yes, you can. <laughs> uh oh, that's not good. Death water. Oh, I watched episode twenty of your um, what was it, Ruby Destiny or something? It was just so yeah. Fun. Oh, that was the best. I'm, I'm making, making another, another one today. today. I got my new recorder. It only cost me like ten bucks. It leaves a little timestamp at the top, but that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna be flat out screaming at my screen by the end of this next episode, though. It just Don't ever play that game. It doesn't make any sense, horrible spriting, and etc, etc. There must be a pattern to do this. I'm not exactly sure how. Hold on, uh, let me look it up. Yeah, I'll call it This has to be a different beta than the one I'm used to. But yeah, that's what you need to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Magic fail. Ah, <laughs> uh, just has splash. Under six of them uh, in a row. Well, she has a shelter instead of another one. Mo is they looking. Oh, go on. Mo is looking for a shelter currently. Like the one Double team or quick attack to get rid of. It's pretty much a toss up. It's your choice. I think quick attack maybe. Double team could be useful in the long run against harder opponents. Yeah, especially if we keep a Pikachu here. Yeah. Alright. Psyduck. The most useless Pokemon in the anime because of its inability to use move moves until it has a headache. <laughs> it is. It's actually pretty useless in game too. Unless it's the Golduck. Golduck has actually Golduck is kind of um, sometimes used in Ubers. Uh, well, not in Ubers, but I think a UU because of the presence of weather teams. Yeah. Because it has Cloud Nine, right? Mhm. Mm and Cloud Nine cancels out all weather. Yeah. Uh, kind of like Clefable in a way because Clefable has Magic Guard in the fourth gen, mm -hmm. and that cancels out all extra damage. Like it can't be hit by poison. Um, it can use life orb without getting recoil, which is really awesome. Yeah. Well, that's a Pokemon I'd like to see them evolve in 5th gen. I doubt they would, on. Did I just go the wrong way? I guess. Oh, you get to fight all three of the Cerulean sisters. Which cool. Daisy, Misty, and the other one. Yeah. I think that's the same books they have in the anime, too. Mm. Water Sport. Oh, I think it's Water Sprout. That's my favorite move. Don't know water Spout? Yeah. Just Only... Oh, go on. Only Swampert, Waylord, and Blackbird can learn that thing. I didn't know Swampert could learn it. Swampert can learn it through breeding. Cool. Can't Kyogre learn it, too? Oh, yeah, Kyogre, of course. There's a couple, but it's just my favorite move because it's like nearly as powerful as Hyper Beam, and then you have Stab on top of that and extra damage. It just makes so much sense to use it. Be careful with Bulbasaur against those Star using Star Moves. Remember they're part psychic. Yeah, I'll be careful. They're just using Harden at the moment, so they're just kind of beefing themselves up. 
Well, not really. I'll still survive. Wait, does that does? Oh, so yeah, she does. Um, I uh, believe she only has one super potion though. Does uh, leak seed carry on from uh, Pokemon to Pokemon? Yes, it does. Really? I believe it does. Yeah. At least uh, in game it does. I'm not sure about competitive. But... Yay! 400 experience. Oh, so close. Never was gonna yeah, that's gonna out. take Sora out. Never was gonna spider out. Well, he's hard. He's harder than any of our team. I think maybe Pikachu might be better. He's got just a level on us, though. That's good against Misty. Yeah. A lot of people come into this four or five levels behind. Well, grinding helps a lot. Yeah. You should do that every single time. Uh. Well, most times. Hopefully. You know, Butterfree doesn't learn an actual bug movement until, like, level 55 in this gen. Actually, it's not... Yeah, I think it is, like, level 50. Level 50 or something. I think you take that pretty quick. Um, Pikachu should be fixing to learn Thunderbolt pretty soon. Yeah, that would be great if we learned that soon, because Thundershock, just at this kind of stage, uh, even though it's pretty early, it's still kind of just Thundershock. It's great if you're using uh, UUs. No, no. Uh, what would I say? Uh, what, what do you call it? Mini Cup? Um, one with level fives. I think it's uh, baby cup. I want to say. Um, I don't think it's baby cup. I'm not sure. I've seen a couple of people on YouTube do battles in it though. Yeah, I, I know it exists. It's half the battle. So where do we go after being Misty? <laughs> I believe you go to Vermilion. Um, LT surge. <laughs> We don't have cut yet. Wait, can we go this way? No, no. What is this? This is the... Okay, I think we're making... Go no. Doors locked. And not um, quite. Might be able to go south. I checked, there's a cut tree in the way. Oh. Uh, hmm. You know where we get cut in this game? Here, let me check. Um, let me see what he does next. Bulbasaur. That's the most crazy thing ever. See what Charmander's holding. It might be something important. Yeah, I'll check that in a second. Uh, should we teach? Uh, we'll use Bulbasaur as a head jump and M Slay for the meanwhile. Yeah, that sounds like pretty good. I love using starters as head jump slaves. Mm. I think he can learn strengths too. In my opinion, the best Pokemon for a Hey Gem Slave is actually uh, Needle King. Surprisingly. I. What am I trying to know? Well, with Hey Slaves, it's all about combination. You have to find two or three Pokemon that work well with it. Yeah, Hey Gem 05. We have Flash from Charmander. Um. Oops. For example, uh, Bibarel and Tropius, because they have. Like, one of them learns three Hey Gems, and the other one learns four. So you get all the HMs with two members. The one I use in Heart Gold and Soul Silver is Farfetch'd and Red Gyarados. Mm. And then I have a Krabby for smashing rocks. Since you almost never need rock smash. True. Unless you're working for Wild Shuckles or Hard Scales. You're using just a camera and uh, your DS, aren't you? Most of my stuff I am. Uh, for... Let's see. For Ruby Destiny and um, Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood, I'm going to be doing ROMs. Because mm. I can't get Sonic Chronicles to work on my DS because it's too touchscreen oriented. Yeah. We tried playing it upside down, but it just didn't work. <laughs> Wait, is a Hyper Fang I'm thinking of or something else that it drains half of the HP you have remaining? You're thinking a super thing. Uh, Rattatat learns that, but it's like level 28. Yeah. 
I used that on a Papakarichi once. It was epic win. It's great if... <laughs> this is so funny. Unofficial Pokemon. Wait, how can it be an unofficial Pokemon? Wait, should we leave it there for this episode? Yeah, sure.